Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with another example of federal spending that is going way beyond budget. It involves billions of dollars for new Navy ships. When the contract was first announced, it was heralded as a model example of procurement, with shipyards in Nova Scotia, B.C. and Quebec winning contracts. But a year later, not only has nothing been built, the ships haven't even been designed. And as Shirley Engel reports, the parliamentary budget officer is warning the final cost for some of those ships could be far higher than originally thought. A parting shot across the bow from Kevin Page, who says the Harper government lowballed the cost of two joint support ships by at least $1.5 billion. We think it's very, very low probability that they'll get anything near a replacement of the protector for anything like 2.6. So, yeah, that raises risk of program failure. The government has estimated the cost for the ships at $2.53 billion, at $300 million in contingency for an overall budget of 2.6. The PBO came up with an estimate of 3.28, but given the early stage of the program, Page says the budget should be more like $4.13 billion. That doesn't even factor in 7 to 11 percent inflation in the defense industry. The political fallout over Page's scathing report on the F-35 fighter jets, which he estimated would cost almost double, forced the Tories to take a second look at that process. The opposition pounced on this one, too. The question for the minister is, what will it be, fewer ships or a bigger budget? The minister of public works, who has been touting the shipbuilding strategy as a model for future procurements, didn't dispute Page's numbers. Let's remember that these ships are in the design phase, but as we move, move forward, we have the independent oversight and the expertise in place to protect taxpayers. If any adjustments need to be made, they will be made with the Navy and the Coast Guard. Quite frankly, we're at least a year, if not two years away from costing those vessels. At the Vancouver yard where the ships will be built, the CEO remains confident he can deliver on time and on budget. If C-SPAN does not perform, we may not get future ships or future contracts. It's that simple. Anticipating the PBO report, defense officials held a preemptive briefing on Wednesday afternoon where they were emphatic the ships could be built for the $2.6 billion budget, but they did concede there could be modifications down the road. They have kind of painted themselves into a couple of different uh, boxes on some of these scenarios, making commitments to specific fleet sizes, uh, but at the same time fixing the budget, which leaves only the capability to be traded away at the end of the day. Page's office has already been asked to crunch the numbers on an even bigger shipbuilding project, $25 billion for up to 21 combat ships to be built in Halifax. Whether we ever see that analysis will be up to the next government-appointed PBO. Shirley Angle, Global News, Ottawa.